Hello from a very, very dead tree. <laughs> Look at this thing. A couple more days and it is gone. Anyways, it is Thursday. Got some things to do. I have to pack for our vacation. We got so many fun things planned. I can't wait for everybody to see it. I've got some laundry going. A few things that needs to happen. Look at all the balls that have fallen off of it. All the ornaments. It's just like a... Uh, Look at poor tree. This was one of my favorite trees too. All right, so I have pulled out the luggage. Now it's time to conquer all that. Wish me luck. Good morning from the yacht club. It is so pretty out. I just wanted to come over here and show everybody how beautiful this is. This is one of my favorite things to do. I'm so happy that my job lets me incorporate little snippets of things like this into my day. Like, isn't this beautiful? I could literally sit here all day and watch this. Gorgeous here. Enjoying the water. Mm. Like, look at that sky. beautiful. Hope everyone is having an amazing day. Amazing Friday actually. I know mine is gonna be good. Just got to start off with that beautiful scenery.
Hmm. Okay, I am home and I have decided that I was gonna make taco soup and I figured let's do this together. Maybe somebody would like to know how I make taco soup and if not, that's okay too. But I'm gonna make some taco soup. I also want to give you a warning that I am gonna be using some raw meat. So if you don't really like that or don't wanna see that, I just wanted to let you know ahead of time. But uh, let's make some taco soup. Okay, so I already have some defrosted hamburger meat and I'm just gonna go ahead and fry this up. Also, I wanted to say don't mind the noise in the background. That is my washer machine. Um, just ignore it. <laughs> it's not there. Anyways, so we're gonna go ahead and fry up the meat. Okay, so um, just fry up all your meat. And when you're done with that, of course, drain the grease and then set it off to the side. Okay, while my meat is over on the side, um, I'm gonna go ahead and open up all my cans. Um, I like to use a whole can of whole corn, kernel corn, a whole can of diced tomatoes, and a whole can of black beans. Um, you could also add pinto beans if you want. I don't really like pinto beans, so I just do the black beans. Sometimes I add chili beans, but today I'm just going to do black beans. So let's go ahead and open those up and get those dumped into our pot. Okay, so now that I've got everything into my pot over here, I am going to go ahead and get a half a cup of water and also add that to that. And then I'm going to add my taco seasoning packet. You can put whatever taco seasoning packet you want, name brand, Taco Bell, it doesn't matter, um, hot, mild, whatever your preference is. I'm just going to use a mild Walmart cheap brand taco seasoning. Okay, I've got my water and my seasoning in there. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on just medium. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to stir this up and start to add my meat. All right, so once you have everything in here, make sure it's stirred up real good. And um, and then we're gonna put the top on it and let it simmer for about 20 minutes or so. Um, come back and stir every once in a while. Also, um, I like mine more of this kind of consistency. It's actually supposed to be a little bit more soupy, but I actually use mine with chips um, and some sour cream. So I, I use mine more as almost like a salsa dip rather than like a soup so that's up to you on whether you want to put a little more um liquid in there or you know keep it kind of like this this is how i prefer it all right so that's the finished taco soup like i said i like mine more of a thicker consistency i like to dip mine i don't don't really like it soupy but you can use whatever tortilla chips you like i also prefer mine cold I like it hot too, but I like it the next day or like in the evening as a snack. Oh, it's, it's the best then. But it's so easy to make, so cheap. Give it a try. Let me know. Leave a comment down below if you tried it or if you have a different way of making it that you want to share. I am interested in, you know, learning a new recipe. This is just the one that I've always done. Um, but like I said, I'm always quick to learn and to try new things. Well, let me know. Good morning, everyone. Happy New Year's Eve. Look how foggy it is out today. Oh my goodness. It is 71 Using at like left lane, make a left turn seven o'clock in the morning. But look at the fog. Got some plans today. Well, I gotta work for a little while, and then this afternoon I have some New Year's Eve plans, which I plan on taking you guys along with me so you can see, you know, just some of my New Year's traditions and what we do in our house every year. So I'm excited to show you guys. Hopefully, the fog lifts a little bit here as the day goes on. It is kind of warm. I walked out, no jacket this morning. I, it was, it felt really nice, really nice. This is like perfect weather for Florida. So like I said, we're gonna do some New Year's Eve activities tonight. Um, we leave for our 
vacation very, 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 very soon. So I have to finish packing. Um, tomorrow the tree goes down and the living room goes back in order, which I am very happy for. <laughs> I am ready to have my living room back and, um, you know, just normalcy, some sort of normalcy. I also have to um, do some laundry and get caught up around the house because I like my house to be very clean when I go on vacation. I'm sure so many people are like that where you just want to come home and have to not worry about anything except for doing the laundry that you took with you. That's my goal. That's what I want. I have to do um, everybody's bedding because that's kind of another thing I like. I like to come home and have my bedding clean because there's nothing like coming home and sleeping in your own bed. I don't know. <laughs> that's how it is for me. I love to go on vacation and there has been, you know, hotels where I've had a very comfortable bed, but there's just nothing's better than your own bed so I like it to be nice and clean and fresh when I come home oh I also have to stop um, you know at Walmart or Publix or something and grab a lemon to do our prosperity pig tonight lemon pig I seen this on a YouTube video a few years ago and I've been doing it ever since and um, I'm pretty excited to show you guys what it is. I mean, I feel like it worked last year. So I'm going to do it again this year. And, um, you know, I'll show you guys exactly what I do with our prosperity pig. Also, I want to hear some of the traditions you guys do. You know, leave that in the comments down below. What are some things that you do with your family every year? maybe something you're gonna start this year or you know new traditions um, I'm always curious to know what everybody else does um, what are some of your resolutions I think my resolutions this year is I want to travel a little more and um, I want to save a little more I know that kind of contradicts itself <laughs> save but travel um, but I think it can be done. Maybe save to travel a little more. There you go. That's what I'm going to, I'm going to say, I want to save to travel more. I really like to travel and, uh, I want my kids to see things that I didn't get to see when I was growing up. So I'm excited to do that. That's exactly what I'm going to say. We have two cruises in the port today. My favorite is if I come to work and it's still dark and they're all lit up and like this one here this is the serenade of the seas and up there that symbol on that ship it glows blue it looks really cool and then we have the carnival one right there you can see it slide that looks like a good time I cannot wait to start cruising. There are so many of them that I want to do. So many trips I want to take on the cruise ships. I'm not sure if there's another one up here or not. Sometimes there's three if you get lucky. Typically on the weekends though, there's usually two. This is the Paradise, Carnival Paradise. Yeah, there she is. And then if there's three, it'll be up here at this cruise terminal too. But I don't think it's there today. I think we only have two in port. Yeah, I don't see one. Usually it's, they're, they're so big you can just see them from afar. It looks like some other ship was in there. And then they have like um, these cruise toys. 
oars, like their little little boats right here. This little port area. Fun, fun, fun. And this, my friends, is why it looks so horrible out today. It's raining. Whoa. What the heck? Just get it out of the way now before my vacation starts. I'm so excited for it. I need some days off. <laughs> I guess I should tell you guys what kind of videos you're gonna have to look forward to. Um, we're gonna be eating at some new restaurants. Well, first of all, we're gonna be traveling to different places around Florida. So it will be uh, in the state, um, you know, videos, different videos. But it's things that we've never done before and I've only seen a couple videos on one of the things that we're going to do and I've never seen a video on the other thing we're going to do. Well, let me just tell you. So one of the things we're going to do is we are going to ride in a NASCAR. A real NASCAR at the Daytona Speedway. Um, it's going to be awesome. We are so excited, especially my boys. It's, it's definitely going to be fun. I'm, I'm also a little nervous because it goes like 160, 170 miles an hour. And we didn't do the option to drive this time, so somebody else will be driving us. We will do that at some point, but this time somebody will be driving each one of us around the track. So that's one of the things that we're going to be doing. Um, the... Another thing we're gonna be doing is we're staying at a haunted house for a couple days in St. Augustine. I'm not sure if people know, you know, the story about St. Augustine. St. Augustine is one of the original towns, if I'm not mistaken, in the state of Florida. I'm pretty sure. I have to do my research on that, but I'm pretty sure that I am correct on that. Um, so, it is, believed that there is some haunted places in St. Augustine. Um, of course, we'll go see the Fountain of Youth um, and we're supposed to be doing a ghost tour at the lighthouse in St. Augustine one night. That's gonna be pretty fun. We've done that before, but that was before I was vlogging. So I'm gonna take you guys along with me this time so that you guys can see the lighthouse and the tour. Um, there's a couple other things that we're going to be doing too. Um, some Disney things, some Universal things. Um, we're going to be staying at one of the Universal hotels, which I uh, will wait to reveal that. Um, that way you guys, you know, can see which one we're going to do. But we have a whole week of things planned. It's going to be fun. I'm excited. Uh, we are going to see the Orlando Magic play one of the nights that we are gone. So we're gonna be doing a lot of things, like I said. There's gonna be a lot of videos coming out soon. Um, be prepared, get excited. I'm excited, my kids are excited, my husband's excited. It's gonna be a great vacation. We usually take a vacation every year at the beginning of the year. Um, between Christmas and, you know, like New Year's, we usually take a vacation in this year. We decided we were gonna stay in Florida and do some things that we haven't done before in Florida. So I'm excited. I'm excited to bring you guys along with me. It's gonna be a good time. So I hope you guys are looking forward to it and I hope you guys tune in to watch it all. Why well, ask me if I want a receipt if they're not gonna give me one? Also, oh no, someone's gonna be needing that later. I got the lemons for my lemon pig. I got an extra one because I want some in my tea. Okay, it is sometime later. I'm back at home and we're gonna do our lemon pig for the New Year's. So this is the things that you're gonna need. You're gonna need a lemon and try to find a lemon that has like a, more of this little side here just like that and you'll see why here in a little while um, a sharpie black sharpie um, usually you would use toothpicks I don't have any toothpicks I thought I did so I'm just going to use these bamboo skewers you'll see what I'm talking about 
um, a piece of tin foil, a pencil, and however many people you have that live in your home, you want that many pennies. So for me, I have four people in my home, um, so I'm going to use four pennies. Okay, so first what we're going to do is you're going to take your knife and the big part right here, we're actually going to use that for his nose. That's why I said if you're looking for a lemon, try to find one with a, you know, a bulkier piece because that's going to be his nose. So carefully, very carefully, cut right down the middle of the nose. Kind of like that. You see it's open right there. All right. And then what we're going to do is we're going to... Take this here and just poke two old holes here just as a reference point for the eyes. So right there. You're going to take the knife again and right above the eyes you're going to make two little ears. So we're just going to very carefully kind of like that. And we're gonna pop that piece up like that. And we're gonna do that again on the other side. So there we go. Now we have his little ears. And then you're gonna wanna take, let's do that last, let's do the legs first. So with the legs, like I said, usually you would use, use toothpicks. I don't have toothpicks, so I'm just gonna break this up into four pieces and we're gonna use this. All right, so now I have my four pieces and I took one of the sharp pieces and I've already went ahead and pre-poked holes um, to slide this in. So we're just gonna go ahead and put that in there. Put that in there. Like that. Sorry about that, my neighbors are already, uh, you know, celebrating. <laughs> All right. Okay, also we wanna go ahead and um, put a hole in the back. We're gonna make his tail. So make sure you poke a hole nicely in the back. All right, so that's, that's that right there. And let's go ahead and set him off to the side while we there we go, while we work on his tail. So you wanna take a little tiny piece of tin foil, of course. Put it up like this. Grab your pencil. Wrap it around. Just so that it's um, squiggly. To the hole that we've made. Okay, so now we need to give him eyes. This is where your magic marker comes in. I'm gonna put a dot there, a dot there. All right, so that is your pig. Last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take whatever pennies you've already laid out for however many people you have in your house. You're going to put them together. And you're going to put them where was the there it is. Let's start with one here. Alright, I'm actually going to make mine a little bit bigger. There we go. And there's your prosperity pig. Now the object of the prosperity pig is that you set it to the side 
and when the pennies fall out of its mouth, that's when you're supposed to have something happen, something good, something positive, prosperity, something good coming into your home and um, bringing in the new year. So we're gonna set him off to the side. Um, I did this last year and it took like, I don't know, a month for the pennies to fall out of its mouth. Um, so we'll see what happens this year. So that is him. That is our little prosperity pig. Let me know in the comments down below um, if you've done this before, if you have your own traditions, um, and what you think. All right, well, I think that's going to be it for this video. I want to go ahead and get this up. I'm going to be leaving on vacation very, very soon. So there will be more videos to look forward to. Uh, the tree comes down tomorrow. Living room back together. Very excited for that. I'm sure a lot of people will be kicking their tree to the curb. <laughs> but I want to wish everyone a happy new year. Stay safe. Have fun. And be with your family. And remember, whatever you are, be a good one.